Hi, this is Abram Pelcher with Laptop Magazine. We're here today with the Lenovo IdeaPad Z500, looking at this at the IFA Berlin booth for Lenovo. Uh, this new notebook starts at 549. It's a 15-inch uh, notebook. It's uh, one inch thick, and it weighs uh, kind of hefty, 4.9 pounds. Uh, so for your starting price of 549, you don't get all the goodies, but uh, you can configure this system with up to a GT645M discrete graphics, Core i7, to 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, you can def uh, Blu-ray if you want. You can definitely spec it out. But here's what uh, here's what you have basic, basically in all the systems. So uh, looking here, we've got kind of a a nice uh, brushed metallic um, deck here, a click pad which seems reasonably accurate, although we're having some sliding go on over here, but not too bad, maybe it's our finger here. Uh, keyboard is the kind of island style keyboard. It's decent, but we notice some flex in the keyboard. Uh, and on the screen here, you see that things look kind of big because this is a 15.6 inch screen and frankly, it's running at a fairly low resolution of 1366 by 768, which doesn't give it the best pixel density around, but that's kind of common for 15-inch notebooks uh, of this price range. Now, this is a Windows 8 machine, so you see there's a Windows 8 key, and we have the Windows 8 desktop here. Uh, there's no preloaded software from Lenovo on here as of yet, uh, but, you know, you can see that it's got uh, all the things you would expect uh, on Windows 8. We're in Germany, so forgive the German on any of this stuff. But uh, you can see that uh, there's a photo viewer. And, uh, you know, just to take a quick look around the sides here. Over here you've got uh, two USB ports and a very slim optical drive. Uh, so, if you want slim and optical drive, this is for you. Uh, you have Ethernet, which is good and you have HDMI, and you have another USB port, and a card reader right over here. So, you know, not a lot to look at. The hinge design is, is quite nice. Uh, it feels pretty uh, sturdy. Uh, if you look over here, you can see this version has a white uh, matte lid. There is uh, also a version with a black matte lid that they're showing right over here next to it. So really uh, you know just kind of a an interesting system for the price it comes with a backlit keyboard or it's at least available with a backlit keyboard uh, and so you know you can get something with kind of a premium design here and you can spec it up uh, from 579 the only real problem is that you cannot spec up the screen above this kind of low 1366 by 768 resolution but that's just a quick look at the Novo IdeaPad Z500.